This is an explanation of how to use the 7510 sample changer on the A600A. To use it, the first thing you should do is put your sample in the depth gauge and prepare it at the proper height before you go up to the sample changer. Next, you're gonna go up to the sample changer and you're gonna to need to unlock the sample changer before you can put your sample into the sample changer. Once you get to the top of the sample changer, you should see that there's a number of slots. They're numbered one through 12. The slot number one is the active location and you should never put a sample in the active location because there may be a sample in there already inside the magnet. You can also notice that there is uh, this central thing with a handle. This is the capture handle and normally it should be in the capture position which prevents the sample from coming out of the sample changer carousel. In order to load your sample you need to turn the handle counterclockwise to put it in the unlock position. Then you need to find a location to the right of the active location, so in this case location number six, to put your sample. And you can just drop it in there and then you should return the carousel back to the locked position or the capture position. The reason for the capture position is that sometimes when the sample ejects, it can either pop up too far or it will bounce up and down and this tab present, prevents it from doing that. If you fail to put it back in the capture position, the sample may pop out or it may bounce and it will stop the automation run for everyone. Once you've loaded your sample in the sample changer carousel, make sure to remember the number of the location you loaded it in and then return to the console to set up your experiment.